you should see. But I don't say anything. Not the way the women here talk about themselves. They say everything about themselves. They show you all their stitches when they sew. They hide nothing. Don't, don't know how to go home in the pattern. So it seemed a mystery. They already home. children. My pockets are empty, which means you can either have a child, nor do I have the money for an abortion. So you figure it out for yourself, because we are not having another child. It is not. I am not pregnant. What? What is it? Tell me. The fact is, it has, something has happened to my voice. I discovered that my voice has become very beautiful. sound to someone who doesn't know you. They, they would think you were light in the head. But it was the most amazing thing. I know you've been exhausted recently. What with this horrible heat we've been it having. It's not that. And the children misbehaving. It has nothing to do with time. that. I will give them a good talking to, I promise you. There's only one way to prove it to you. I'll send you something. Saida! <laughs> what has gotten into you? Have you no shame? Saida, what are you doing? The laundry can wait. It has to be done. The cleaning up can wait. That has to be done too. The dishes can wait. You will wash them. Your soap opera can wait. It's only half an hour. Their dinner can wait. Who will cook the dinner? Your husband's meals can wait. Don't be angry, I can't. Children can't wait. How can you say that? The God can wait. That has to be me too. Saida. You can't, you can't wait. wait. Not anymore. Not anymore. A beautiful voice was meant for singing. You have to be realistic, Saida. If a relative left a house for you and her parents, would it be realistic to walk away from it? What's yours is yours. Use it. Just like that? I wish it was that simple. Why can't it be? It costs nothing. Why shouldn't others hear you? You're being arrogant. <laughs> you want to sing, sing in a bathroom. You don't have to make a spectacle of yourself. You. You were always so worried about doing the right thing. Not to let others hear you would be selfish. Pleasing that brings joy to others, and that gift is meant to be shared. That's what a gift like that is for. And it doesn't matter how old you are. I have to talk to somebody. I have to. I can't tell my mother and sister they'll laugh at me. Well, you've always been so kind to me. Maybe. Maybe you will understand. Kripti, whatever you say to me here stays between us. I promise you that. Do not fear that, huh? Now go ahead, tell me, Yalla, what happened? It was the strangest thing. 
Yesterday morning, I was having a bath. Poor Abdul Hamid. <laughs> As if his burdens are not enough, now he has to deal with this. <laughs> and to come out dressed this way? <laughs> and for what? To buy bread and draw attention to herself? A singer? <laughs> what next? The embarrassment she will cause her family just because of some crazy notion she's got into her head. Haram. Truly, the, the, the private lives of my customers are better than anything I watch on television. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? She always seems so normal. <laughs> I swear, this is what happened. However strange it might sound, the fact is, there is only one way to prove it to you. What happened? With your permission, I will sing you. No, Abby, please. <laughs> please, no, no singing. Please. You don't believe me. No, I believe you. Any I... song you want. Abby, if they calm yourself, I get you a glass of tea. Please sing. But I want to sing for you. Abby, if they, I believe you that you can sing, but this is a grocery store, not an opera house. Anyone <laughs> might come in. Please. I, I was passing by it's this grocery. I've made an appointment with a doctor. <laughs> you coming with me. charming voice, but that will not be necessary. <laughs> Here's what I suggest. I can appreciate how uh, unsettling this must be for you all. Um, but there is a new medication out in the market that has proven very effective for such occurrences. Huh? And please, don't be alarmed if you hear voices. Huh? It's much more common than you think. <laughs> it's all right. It feels daily should do it. And cider. For the time being, you must avoid situations that cause you stress. I know that day-to-day -day problems can be challenging, but you must rest for a while. And I would prefer if she didn't stay home alone. Invite a family member or a neighbor or something. And when you take a bath, please turn on the radio. <laughs> and another thing, Saida. You might want to consider losing a little weight. Obviously, it has affected the way you see yourself. Okay? And if you get depressed again, hurry back to the clinic. All right? All right. Thank you for seeing All right. Beautiful. 
I saw it in your bag. Yeah, well, so the pigs at the airport. It's illegal. Uh-uh! Right to bear arms, baby. Yeah, I knew my shit. I got the right papers for it. Well, why do you need one at all? <laughs> you afraid I might be planning an assassination? It wouldn't be the first time. You're not serious. Ashraf, I've kissed that life goodbye. It's all in the past now. Do you understand me? Oh, I seriously hope you're not planning on doing anything crazy because I will not be an accomplice to any stupid subversive acts of terrorism. Who do you think I am, the CIA? You don't like that. I can leave if you like. Stop being a child. Well, then don't patronize Just me. Just tell me the truth. You can't take the truth. You keep a tab on everyone? Well, it's not too hard. I mean, most people let loose at some point, and their name appears in a newspaper, their picture under some stupid quote. Not you, though. No, not me. Oh, remember her? Oh. She wrote the most beautiful poetry. Mm. Raped and shot. So many lives wasted. They're such idealists. Do you enjoy looking at these pictures? Oh, but those were the good old days. You could smell victory in the air. I mean you could smell blood. Well, you can't have a revolution without blood. You still believe in revolutions? Who do you think I sell guns to? If you don't help a friend, you help an enemy. Well, we certainly haven't run out of political slogans. It's not a slogan, it's what I believe in. I just lost too much to believe anymore. No, oh, you're sure lucky to have this stuff, though. I had two seconds to get my ass across the border. No time to take anything, no room. Oh, God, Jamil, look! The last day of training! It's you. You're beautiful. I want to see any of these pictures again. If I get sick, my doctor's number is on speed dial. Yeah, well, if you start with that attitude, you will get sick. <coughs> That's what this shit is for. <coughs> It'll make you fly. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, good. Good. I want to fly. Good. Good. Oh. <coughs> yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Hold it in. Yeah. There you go. Flying above the Zagros Mountains. Painting a shiny star on top of every summit. Big and small. Hey, that's what's missing. There are no paintings. What'd you do to some wall? It's been years since I held a paintbrush in my hand. Shiny star for you. Uh, <laughs> but why? I don't know. I, I guess I don't need it anymore. But you're the best painter I know. I'm the only painter you know. At least back then I was. Yeah, well, you still are, but... What do you do if you don't paint? I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> National blood sucker. I guess it's not as exciting as yours. Yeah, well, there's nothing very exciting about dealing in guns. It makes with a bad crowd. Mostly I stay on the farm now. This fucking bat won't let me do much, much farm work. Oh, you didn't say you're noble profession, ma'am? Accounting. Accounting? <laughs> Now you sound disappointed. Well, you have this big corporate title on your business well, card. Well, I've worked fancy hard for what I have, but I guess you were expecting something a little more glamorous. Well, no, just something more like what you used to do. There were no ads for urban warfare specialists. No. <laughs> no, that stuff. I mean the heady shit. You know, you, what was that word I could ever pronounce? Epistemology. No, 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 the other one. Phenomenology? Shit, but what the fuck does that mean? Doesn't matter. You know, I always thought, you know, with with all those languages you speak, all those books you read, I mean, those big titles. Um, civilization and its discontents, being in time, and some is and social not justice. Being here. I mean, does it look like anyone is interested in the equal distribution of wealth in this country? Or justice, for that matter. It's all about making more, having more, spending more. Well, I guess I just thought you could teach somewhere. Teach what? How to have a failed revolution? 
You've lost the love of your life. Yes. Here's the strong one. I broke. I was referring to painting. Not just a motherfucker over here. Put the picture down. You know what's interesting? I can actually see the devil in his eyes. Don't. Why couldn't you? Put the picture down. No. Put it down, I said! Why can't you ever respect anything? Bulldozing over everyone and everything as if nothing mattered. Just doing whatever you want, saying whatever comes out of your mouth, and you had the nerve to judge others! You walked out. Do you remember that? Your independence always came first. You always came first. Selfish. That's what you are. And where would you be now if I behaved the same way? But I can't. I couldn't just let you wither away and die. No one dares desert Saddam's army. Not now. Now it is hard to know who the devil is. And who is simply bedeviled. Even before things were as they are now, my father had an idea of what could happen to a joker like Momo if, well, warrants were serious people, not Momo. So now Momo drives a taxi in Los Angeles, California, America. He waits in a lot at the airport, and planes come from above with passengers, not fire. He was robbed once by a boy with a gun. Muhammad probably had never seen a gun up close before. Back when he left Iraq, people didn't steal. Only the police and soldiers had guns. Americans need guns because the thieves have guns. My father was needed more after the sanctions for civilians, for deserters. Our doctors were our soldiers. Our soldiers were our toys. Off I went to Kuwait. Through the ocean. Something steered our truck. Our truck that did not move when it left. Like all other cars and trucks and buses leaving Kuwait City at the same time. Gone, but never leaving. Sixty miles of people trying to quit the burning ocean. Just like my endangered friend here, leaving, but not going anywhere. Like fish in a barrel. A sixty mile standstill. <laughs> Mother's bracelet burning in my hands. Not eardrums and lungs and membranes out of my body whispering. Inside. No ears, no lips, no flesh. Nothing hidden in you. Just bone. Just teeth. A smile. I smile forever as I changed to fire before the eyes of American pilots. And my eyes slip to rose water, to calm blues and greens, to bright sunlight. A glimpse at the burning soul of the Persian Gulf, now I know. But I do miss the New England Journal of Medicine. Can't get that across the border with even the most basic medical supplies. I miss the Lancet. I used to enjoy the Doctors Without Borders newsletter, not knowing how prominently we would be displayed within its pages. I haven't read anything new in my field for eight years. Well, when there are no stents, what's the need for a stent specialist? Well, what does it matter, really? A heart in arrest stays in arrest. We can't get nitroglycerin. Not even medical nitroglycerin in pill form because the United Nations has determined it has a dual use. Same for ambulances. Medical journals, obviously. It's an older man's disease. Man with heart trouble, I send away. Good for you, I say. Lucky is the man who lives to die of an irregular heart. A man who has lived to see his city devastated and his children starved. 
will welcome the end to the rhythm of the muscle in his chest. How do they expect us to survive? But of course they don't. Is after all the point. They want a country of farmers, cripples, and illiterates. But haven't they read their own literature? You must marry. <laughs> no. You must. No one will ever sing to me as father sang. I will find someone. You cannot. I must. <laughs> Layla, here's your suitor. No. Layla, I found your suitor. You do not understand my pain. He can sing. You swear to me? Can you sing? Yeah. <laughs> yes. If I must. This is my sister. You will sing to her. If you can make her happy again, you may have her hand. All right. <laughs> Your father died in no western town. You should marry me. Cause you won't man. Cause you won't man. Cause you won't man. Cause you won't man anyway. Yeah. I won't touch that. Are you the minstrel? The player of the Ood who sings with the sorrow of a thousand hearts? Yes, I am the moon. I have been waiting for you for a long time. You may play for me from the courtyard. <laughs> I will play only for your sorrow. <laughs> you may play for my sorrow from the courtyard. <laughs> scarcely believe it. After all these long years, God had had her heart's desire. As the minstrel sang, her eyes were miraculously opened, and she saw the face of the minstrel looking up at her from the courtyard. I assure you that no one will throw stones. And when we get up onto the street in there, Palestinian market? No one will throw stones, Mrs. Caruso. We are in a tunnel underground. And this is an historical with joint approval. Yeah, it could happen anywhere. It did. Oh, God. That was nothing. It was a couple of children, a small incident. You, you were involved in an incident? Oh, no. But we came out the back gate of the Temple Mount and we were walking. Walking in a perfectly peaceful, we thought, neighborhood with little pink houses and kids playing in baseball. the yard. They were playing baseball. With stones? They hit stones at us with a paddle. They turned from hitting stones into their yard and turned and hit them at us and yelled at us. They didn't laugh and neither did we. I picked up Isaac and we ran. I'm so sorry, but apologize to you. They, they were children. A few years older than Isaac. In another couple of years, they'll be throwing soldiers at, throwing stones at Israeli soldiers and tanks. As children, my mother said of such an act, he who is without sin, let him cast the first We didn't do a thing. Well, we use that to mean that only the person who is free of guilt... No, 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 no. It means since no one is free of guilt, and who in this country is well, free of I guilt... Well, what I think Imad meant is that perhaps we were wrong, or the children thought we were wrong to be walking there. What? It was a street. I'm not wrong. Perhaps intrusive. Yes, intrusive, yes. To be peering into their private lives. What? Yes, their lives, their homes, after all, are not museum exhibits. It was a street. <laughs> Come on, can we go back? That stone story, uh, your, your mother, that's the Bible. Was your mother a Christian? Or no, Israeli, Jewish, that's the Old Testament. No, no, but I think that's the New Testament, Luke. But to clarify my own background, my mother was... No, 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 no need. Peter, we're being rude. No, I understand. Rude is simply the American way of being friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I admired your background. You were different. Free-loving women, Jews. Oh, come on. I remember you once confessed to me that you discovered that you are attracted to Jewish women when you learned Psych 101 that Jewish women have orgasms more often than Christians. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never said that. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, how did I learn that in high school? I did Jewish girls in high school. Yeah, I think the case is proved, and we're a very good Yeah, but the things that you can say. Perhaps it is best. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, it was part of the mix. It's part of who you are, of course. And that's it? No. No. It's only a small part. It would have made no difference at all. <laughs> God. You know, yeah. You like to shock. Yeah. 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 My wife sometimes likes to shock, but I think she's just kidding. No, 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 no. Not. Our son. He insisted we call our son Isaac, so he could be called Ike the Kike in high school. And a stop. You know, this trip to the homeland was for you. And for Isaac, there's a spirit here that Jews have never had before. What, did you think Isaac was going to jump up and say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so glad to be home? Oh, God, Anna, please, this is garbage, really. I mean, it's, it's you know, garbage. I see your mind working. It found something in the garbage, didn't it? It touched something. You're too honest not to admit it. Peter, you are the sweetest man in the world, and I cannot imagine another life with anyone else. But you are a wannabe Jew. <laughs> <laughs> And you are making our son into your image of a Jew. That's why you forced this trip. I never wanted it, but it's okay. You know, I figured this out a long time ago. I didn't fight you when you took over Isaac's <coughs> education as a Jew. It's sort of okay. I didn't say anything. It's okay, sort of. <laughs> it's okay. It's nice to be so deeply admired. Peter. They are checking. <laughs> <laughs> this wannabe. This, this sounds to me, if you'll pardon me, similar to one of your American, Native American tribes, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cherokee, wannabe. <laughs> but you are frightened here in the occupied territory. And you feel stimulated by these ancient ruins. Yes, of course. I've been frightened since I saw my first Uzi at the airport. I just want to find a smiling policeman and ask for directions. I don't want to have to take my life into my hands just to find the toilet. Yes, I understand, I guess. You say that, I guess? Yes! <laughs> yes, you speak perfectly good English. Stop saying that. You're making me think that you're pretending. Maybe pretending. Another awkwardness. They're throwing stones, getting violent. I knew it. it. It seems that the demonstration has started at the ancient wall, at the Israeli side. Oh no, we're trapped. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we're, we're Americans. I mean, we have our passports. It is not that, so that's where the guard let us in. It is not so simple. We can't get out. Well, we're not political. I'm afraid that. What? Uh, Just tell us. I'm afraid that I have a problem. You. You're the guy! I told you I was sick yesterday. I did not have the full indoctrination necessary for the joint committee. Wait, 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 wait. What, what indoctrination? Nothing really, just, just deciding the place to respect sacred places on both sides of the city. God, they're all crazy! Just, just mind their things. But we, but, but, but we cannot, at this moment, go this way or that way. It is being discussed right now above our heads. We must wait. Why not just go to the Arab, Palestinian uh, side? Uh, if we go in either direction, we will just provoke. You say that? Provoke? Yes! <laughs> 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 and if we split up? Yes! Yes! You go to the Palestinian side and we'll go back. So, no, wait, wait, just abort the whole tour? Why not? This is not our concern. No, I don't think we should. Perhaps. Separating that might end the demonstration. No. Why not? Because then we'd be abandoning a mod, and then the demonstrations will have succeeded in stopping the opening of this tunnel maybe forever. This tunnel? This little thing is nothing. Stop making it like it's so important. All the little agreements are important. You, you are blowing this way out of perspective. These things happen here every day. No, this little no, tunnel. A mod could be 
sacrifice fired from his job. Iman can handle this. This is his country, not ours. I would like to wait with Iman. Stay a little longer. And then go all the way through with him. And then when we come out, we'll have made it a little easier for the next time. I want to talk about something <coughs> smaller than me that became bigger. I want to talk about my brother. I don't believe the stories you've heard. I was far more religious than he. I never had the heart. I never had the heart to wake him to pray. He was hoping to study medicine in Iraq. While building Israeli settlements in Gaza. While building Israeli oh, settlements in Gaza. In Gaza, so, Gaza we so we could eat. While building Israeli so settlements in Gaza so we could eat. I let him sleep through the call. My brother was caught with a rock in his hand and a curse on his lips. He was caught with a rock in his hand. And a curse on his and lips. Curse on his lips. I went to the jail to visit my brother. Ravaged. Most of my people look at the Israeli guards with every ounce of hatred a human heart can hold. Their face did twist and not like they tasted something bitter, but like they something bitter was forced down their throats. Something bitter was forced down their throats, but I was smarter than that. Smarter? Smarter? I was smarter. Smarter? I was smarter than that. I knew I must navigate through the maze of might and I... Navigate through the maze of might? I did my best. Navigate through the maze of might! To be kindly polite, hoping perhaps to remind them of... Rachel or Sarah or Ruth. Rachel or Sarah or Ruth? <laughs> Rachel or Sarah or Ruth? A Rachel or Sarah or Ruth? To remind them of a Rachel or Sarah or Ruth that they knew or would have liked to know. So when they be my brother! The thing that started out smaller than me and became bigger. They would lighten their touch. I am told that they're torture specialists who study the Arab mind realized that rape would enrage our men. Enraging a man is the first step on a stairway that gets a man to a place where he becomes impotent, helpless. They not only refer to us as the cockroaches, they examine us, experiment upon us, as if we were that predictable, that much the same, that easy to eradicate. Their studies show the Arab men value the virtue of their women folk. Their studies show something something within me was supposed to be inviolate. They could kill every Palestinian, and the wind will howl our names, and the rocks will rise up and throw themselves. But I didn't say, you are the most precious thing in the world. The fact that you exist makes the earth spin on its axis. It's rolling for joy because you are here. The sun shows up to see you, and the moon chases the sun away to be in your sky. None of them. Love you like I do, brother. Not even close. There is no goal, no political means worth wrenching your life from mine. If Palestine is utopia, Palestine is here. Palestine is having my brother by my side and screaming for joy when I have my firstborn.